Hey there, hope you're doing good. I am going to do a colorful pour today. I think I'm going to do a sink strainer pour with some neon colors. So I had used this in a previous pour and it was a six piece set Master's Touch from Michaels. And it's neon yellow, orange, pink, purple, green, and blue. They're about 7.7 ounces in a tube, so less than an ounce of paint. I mixed them a little bit over the 1 to 1 ratio of Floetrol, so there's a little bit more Floetrol than paint, just so I'd have plenty of paint to do my pour. So, um, just a little more on the Floetrol. I did not add any water to it. And then I added a drop per ounce of paint mixture of the spot-on treadmill lubricant and stirred that up. So I used Flood Floetrol latex-based. And I want to do a sink strainer pour. So I'm going to put this in the middle. But before I do that, I'm trying to decide. I think I want to start with a little bit of a white base. So I'm going to take my white bottle that's white Artist Loft Flow Acrylic mixed one to one with Floetrol. So I'm not putting a heavy layer, I'm just going to use my hand and just give it a little bit of a skim coat. This is a 14 square inch canvas. So I probably need 8 ounces of paint roughly. Maybe a little bit more. And I've got probably an ounce and a half in each cup, so that's that's about seven or eight ounces in the cup. And I think I'm going to add black and white here and there. So I'm going to put the uh, the very used. This is a very used sink strainer. It's not a brand new one. It's not nice and pretty. I don't do pretty stuff as far as I don't keep everything you know, spotless. It's got, everything is used that I put my hands on. So I'm going to start with the black. Then I'll do a little bit of white. I'm using about half of my paint that I have in my cup. Because I want to do one more layer after this layer. I'm trying to be a little bit patient and let the paint soak out. So I think this time I'm going to skip the white and go straight to the purple.
So like I said, I have silicone in here, so there's probably going to be cells that pop up. Tell you what, I don't really want to move it. I have my yellow in my squeeze bottle and I'm going to just kind of do a swirl in the middle. Which is not the neon yellow, it's just a regular yellow. And then I'm going to do some white dots on top of that. I think what I'm going to do is take my dioxazine purple, which is a really dark purple. And this is also mixed with Floetrol. And I'm going to go around this circle. What I'm going to do is very quickly mix up the paint color. This is Deep Violet Liquitex Basics. And I'm going to add a little more Floetrol than the paint. And very quickly stir this up. It's not the color of the, the neon purple, but it's kind of close. It's just in the family. I was going to do black around the outskirts, but I don't want to do black. It's just a touch thick. 
So I'm going to add just a pinch of water. And in my water bottle, I do 90% water and 10% Floetrol. That way it intermixes better with your paint mixture. Easier. So now I'm going to just go around. I'm going to grab the edge of the painting, swipe out and wipe off. So it kind of gets a little bit of that deep purple as well as the violet color. And if it's easier for you to come towards yourself, just turn your canvas. I didn't get that well. And get that dark purple on top of it. You got to make sure and grab in the same area at least the dark purple. If some of the blue moves, that's fine too. I'm just doing this very lightly. It's also it's making some of the white show through that's underneath, and that's okay too. Like here, even though it's it's gone to the edge, I'm gonna try to get it more centered. But that side is psychedelic, which you know me, I like colorful. Now I'm going to take and try to get my bigger straw. So I'm basically just trying to blow some of that blue into the purple area. way it doesn't look so cut off. And I'm going to take the purple that's in the cup and just run it around the edge so it has a little bit of color on the edge. But this might have to be one of the canvases that I just paint the edge black or something like that. Because it's not, it's not a solid color. When you mix more Floetrol than your paint, you're going to have a little bit more of a transparent feel. I'm trying to just get this color to roll over the edges. And you can do that with your finger, you can do it with the skewer. So I'm just making sure that, you know, most of that white is covered up. Even if it's a little transparent, that's okay. I'm not crazy about the center. Let's see if I can get some of this purple out of this cup. This is sour apple. I'm going to just dot it around the edge here. Sour apple is a deco art color and it's pretty limey. <clears throat> it's not neon, but it's you know, fairly bright. I'm going to drag that back towards the center. You pretty much need to wipe off every time you s swipe so that you don't put another color back into that green. So, loaded with paint. Very thick. So, well, let me get these lights angled a little different so there's not as much reflection. But at least the colors are staying fairly clean. I'm hoping my tray is pretty level so it doesn't shift on me overnight. 
because if I come in tomorrow and it's all shifted, wouldn't that be funny? No, it wouldn't be funny. But this is not very interesting to me. I'm trying to think what I can do to make it more interesting. I've got a purple drip right there that I don't like. So I'm thinking if I put a bright blue Let's try a bright blue, bigger dot. See, so you can't go back in it without contaminating the color. All right, I'm going to leave it like this and pray that it's level. I probably should just put it on a different surface to where I know it's level. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you click on the bell in the bottom right corner, you'll get notifications when I post new videos. Feel free to email me at Sandra at Sandra Let com. I have uh, my artwork to purchase there. I have an Amazon recommendations link with most of the products that I use. I have PayPal, Patreon if you'd like to contribute anything. I spend a lot of money making these videos but I really really enjoy it and I want to uh, just keep experimenting and do new things. And I see a little pattern here I'm curious. I, that's what I saw was it was going in that direction. I'm not going to do any more, but I saw that in the pink, so I thought I'm going to go swirl. I'm going to swirl through that. Also, I have a donut. These are what I call donuts. They come from the sink strainer pour, and I want to make sure it dries flat. So I'm going to move these off of this puppy liner because I don't think it's totally flat. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. I'll see you next time.